All right, I'll shoot another one of these videos to address uh, squat setup and bar placement. It's something I see a lot of beginners screwing up, and I think it just stems from overthinking it. So, just like my uh, overhead press setup, I'm not going to show you the actual squat. There's a ton of videos out there. Pick your uh, pick whichever one you want to see. But this is just going to more focus on how you approach the bar and how you set the bar up on your back. Uh, a couple notes: I'm going to have my back turned for the majority of it, yelling at the walls. So. My garage door is open because it's 100 degrees out here. My neighbors are going to think I'm some sort of schizophrenic asshole, but I do what I can. So, first thing, most beginners screw up with the fact that the bar is usually way too high. You're looking at maybe chin level, if not higher. I don't know why. Try to set it up around nipple height. I think a lot of it just stems from beginners being afraid to half squat the bar out of the rack. They think it's going to kill all their energy. You should be able to, with any squat weight, be able to half squat it just to get out of the rack. It's way better than freaking trying to calf raise it just to get out. I'm going to zoom in now so you can see how I approach. Should get a better angle. So I usually take a, a pretty narrow grip. The narrower you can grip, the better. What that does is bring your brings your elbows in more. A lot of beginners have their elbows way out back. This throws the bar forward, causes them to dump it forward. The more further forward your elbows are, the more upright your back will be. So I take a narrow grip even when I overhead and press with. Once you do that, I usually have both hands here, set my feet right underneath the bar, and dive under like this. Your wrists are going to be a little torqued when you do this, but it's fine. You'll adjust as you need to. Once you're in this position, you need to get the bar as far down on your back as possible. What a lot of beginners do, they set it right on top of their traps, which just seems like a logical point because that's probably the only area they have with any degree of muscle on it. But this sets you up for a high bar squat. It's a lot harder to sit back with, usually causes a lot more pain. By comparison, I'm going to set this thing as far down on my traps as possible, even across the rear delts. And grab, drag under, floss the bar on your back. Turn from here, just tighten your abdomen and step out. Your back should be holding the weight. All your hands are here for is just keep it from tilting one way or the other. A lot of beginners, they hold all the weight in the wrist and they wonder why it's bugging them. And once you're in this position, you're a lot better for a low bar squat. It's a monumental difference from here to all the way up here. Most beginners, they think a low bar squat is going to be maybe down here. You're still on your traps. Try to get it way far down there. This is going to cause a little bit of a forward lean. That's fine. You're going to have a little bit of that with a low bar squat. If you got any questions, write a comment.